Hello everyone. The research study we conducted is titled Graduate Construction Management Education, a senior level industry based Delphi study. It's written by Ravite Japaturi, myself, Dr. John Killingsworth, and Dr. Chris Harper. And we are from Colorado State University, Fort Collins. So, a little bit of background on our study. Um, so the increasing complexity of the construction projects and the advances in the current project management strategies and the evolution of several new technologies have increased the demand for construction managers who are well trained and well educated in the knowledge of building and business management. And due to this increased demand, many construction managers are enrolling into graduate construction management programs to further their education. So now our research objective is to identify the relevance of the current construction management graduate programs in the United States in producing construction industry leaders. And again, this study is part of a larger research study which aims at identifying the knowledge, skills, and abilities required for senior level managers in the construction industry. So the methodology we followed in doing this study is to first do a curriculum analysis and identify what programs or what courses have been offered in the current graduate programs in the United States. And then we did a Delphi survey to identify if those courses are relevant in producing leaders. So for the curriculum analysis, we found 34 programs as our sample size for our sample size. And we divided those 34 programs into two categories. The first category is the category with leadership and upper level construction management focus. So that's what we use in conducting the survey. And the second is the programs with research and technical skills focus. The reason for doing this categorization is because uh, we're conducting this study to identify the relevance of the construction management programs in developing leaders. So we don't want to use the programs with research and technical skills focus in the survey. Um, so these are our results from the curriculum analysis and all of this. Uh, so we've listed 20 frequently offered courses in the two categories. Um, so on the left side, we have the courses offered in the leadership focus programs. And on the right side, we have the courses offered in the research and technical skills focused programs. So on the left side, um, sustainability and green construction is the most frequently offered course in the leadership focused programs. And on the right side, for the research and technical skills focused programs, construction management research um, is obviously the most frequently offered course. And on the left side, we have many management courses like the construction project management, construction scheduling, construction law, accounting and finance, construction planning and cost control analysis, legal issues, safety management. So all of the courses which are essential for senior level managers have been most frequently offered. And the same case goes with the courses or topics in the research and technical skills focus programs. Most of the skills, uh, most of the courses here are technical skills based. Um, so to further determine if the findings of the curriculum analysis were consistent with the industry demand, we distributed a survey to construction industry professionals. And the focus of this survey was to identify if the courses listed in the leadership focus programs would actually help in developing senior level construction management leaders. And we have utilized Delphi Technic um, for the survey. So we've conducted a two-phase Delphi survey using Qualtrics, an online-based survey tool. So these are the demographics of our Delphi panel. So we have 29 participants in phase one and we have 28 participants in phase two. So our attrition rate is very low. So coming to the demographics, 76% of our participants are construction executives and senior level managers. 
and 14% of our participants are mid-level managers in the construction industry. The reason for selecting mid-level managers in the senior level focus study is to identify their perception on these courses, whether or not these courses would help them in reaching senior level management positions. And we also have few external industry members who are basically from surety companies, insurance companies and bonding companies who frequently work with construction executives and senior level managers on a regular basis. So every Delphi study will have a consensus criteria set. For this particular study, we set the consensus criteria as at least 75% of the participants responding with a score of greater than 80 or equal to 80 on a 100 point scale. So these are the results um, that we found. Construction project management with an agreement of 86% and a median score of 90 reached consensus in phase one. So 86% agreement meaning 86% of the participants responded with a score of 80 or greater than 80 on 100 point scale. And leadership in construction also reached 86% agreement. Construction scheduling 82%, construction accounting and finance 79%, construction planning and cost control analysis 76%, legal issues in construction 75%, Construction contracts, administration or business, 75%. Construction delays and claims, 75%. So these eight courses have been deemed as important or essential by the experts as essential for developing senior level managers. And the other 12 courses have not been deemed as that important in developing senior level managers. Sustainability and green construction and building information modeling are two topics that have gained momentum in recent years and are reflected in the course offerings um, which we identified in the curriculum analysis. But it is surprising to see that sustainability, which is the most frequently offered course among the 34 construction management graduate programs, to be one of the lowest preferences by the industry professionals. So these results indicate that the current graduate level construction management curriculums are not adequately focused on developing senior level construction managers, even with those programs which have their purpose statement and mission statement as producing construction management leaders. So these results reinforce the previous research findings that industry perceptions differ from what's being offered in academia. Some of the recommendations from the study is there is a need for collaboration between educators and construction industry professionals in developing master's programs that align with the needs of the construction industry. From the results section, we found that even the programs with leadership focus have many courses that are not um, focused on leadership like 12 of the 20 courses have not reached a consensus. Only eight of the 20 frequently offered courses in the leadership focus programs have reached a consensus by the experts. So forming an industry advisory committee is another smart way of incorporating industry suggestions into the curriculum based on the evolving trends in the construction industry. So this would make sure that the curriculum is relevant to what's happening in the industry. Thank you.